the following events were recorded as they happened at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. On this episode of Life's Little Miracles, Kayla's hip surgery and Michelle's ear reconstruction. Nineteen-month-old Kayla was born with a dislocated hip. As a result, her left leg is shorter than her right, and she walks with a limp. If Kayla's hip is not repaired, the limp will become so disabling that even ordinary activities like running could become impossible. Hi! Come on down here. Let's see your big yard. Today, Kayla will undergo surgery to repair her hip. She will then be put into a cast for several weeks while she heals. Okay. Elmo. Elmo. Okay. And what did Dr. Wedge tell you about the surgery and what to expect after? The surgery is two and a half hours. And they tell you to you look the cast? Yeah. Okay, and he told you it was... Full, but like up yeah. to, to the nipple and line and down hurt. both legs. Okay. Yeah. All right. He told you it would be on for six weeks. Six or eight weeks. Six or eight weeks. Yeah. Okay. Elmo needs a bracelet. Elmo needs a bracelet too. Can you bring Elmo over so we can put a bracelet on Elmo? Pat. Thank you. <laughs> you gonna give him a hug? Give him a hug. Oh, nice Elmo. Okay, so I'm just gonna get you to have a seat right out there, and we're gonna take you down. Very shortly. Last year, 18-year-old Michelle had the upper part of her ear pierced. Soon after, the cartilage became infected and had to be removed. Today, doctors will take cartilage from one of Michelle's ribs to try to reconstruct her ear. Yep. Can I take a peek at your ear? Yeah. So the goal of surgery today is to, to reconstruct the ear, getting some more cartilage support. And uh, we're going to do that by boring some cartilage from her ribs. We'll probably just take it from the right side here. Yeah. And it'll be about, about that long. Yeah. Good. Do you have any questions, Mom? Well, when she so comes out of recovery, like what's she gonna look like? Her head would be all bandaged, and you're gonna have a sort of a ponytail coming out the top of your head, oh, yeah. and you have a big wrap around the, the both ears, and there'll be some other dressings, which are called bolster dressings, which are sewn in place with sutures mm -hmm. to maintain the shape of the ear, and they'll stay in for another two weeks after that. Okay, okay. right, right up. We'll see ya. Do you understand what we're doing today? We're going to be putting the ball back in the socket, as we explained to you, and then we're going to repair the, li the lining of the joint of the capsule, and then we're going to turn the socket uh, into the proper position, because now it's, it's what we call dysplastic, or she has dysplasia, and what it means is that it's, it's, it's not sitting in the right place. We're going to be putting it in the, in the correct position, and then we're going to put her in a cast, and she's going to be in that cast for seven to eight weeks. Okay, yeah. we'll be going into the operating room in a few minutes, and I will come and speak to you when we finish, and that will be in approximately two hours. Okay. Okay. Okay, little sweetheart, Kayla, two zero zero one nine four. All right then. Mommy, have a kiss. Mommy, kiss. Kiss. Mommy's gonna steal one. You know that, right? Kiss. How about we just carry you? Yeah, you Carmen's gonna carry you. You look like carrying size. Yes, yeah. all right then. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy can walk us through the door, actually. And Linda's Okay. Okay, okay Mom, we'll see you in a bit, Dad. All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's always hard to see them win the awards. I'll take good care of her. <laughs> Kayla's aunt is, gets credit for the diagnosis in this instance. She was concerned about her limp, and while the disability seems quite minimal at this stage, it becomes very profound later on. We put the incision in the groin crease, and that way we avoid uh, any significant scarring. Okay, another sponge, please. There's one there. Now this is where the ball of the, the dislocated ball of the ball and socket is lying. And you can see now the femoral head is reduced. Mm -hmm. And there it's dislocated. Reduced, dislocated. So we put the stitches in place to repair the damage to the capsule. Stick it in. You can see now that the hip is completely stable. It will not dislocate. See, I can push on it. Yep. We now come to the pelvic side of the procedure. You have the saw, uh, the power saw. You have the saw. Did they explain to you what's going to happen at all? Yeah, IV in the hand. And okay, we'll put some monitors on your yeah. on your chest. We'll put one little light thing on your finger and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're going to come down this way. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, okay, come on down this way. Okay, we're going in this room right here. Um, Michelle had a uh, piercing in the upper pole of her ear. Unfortunately, it uh, became complicated by an infection. The infections are quite serious because they really distort the ear. And the reconstruction can be quite complex as we're seeing today. We need to borrow cartilage from the ribs. And this is the cartilage that we're going to be harvesting. We'll take about a strip that's about three and a half to four centimeters long. So now we're just dissecting underneath the, the lining of the uh, cartilage. And of course, right under this cartilage is the lung space. We need to be careful that we don't cause any problems there. And you can give me the bone graft. Just a minute. You want to put the first pin in and about right there. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Where you go. Lots of lots of torque. Okay, the bone graft is in place now. The pins are fixing the bone graft. The osteotomy is open in front, closed behind. So we fixed the dysplasia. You're holding the straight. Okay, Teresa. Huh? Hey, baby. Hi, baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. She is not going to be impressed. No. Mommy. Like daddy. Hi. You can see that Kayla's just fine. Everything went very well. The ball's back in the socket. The uh, socket's been repaired, and the uh, direction that it's, been, that it's been put into now is the proper direction. Okay. We're at the point, so and she'll get over this remarkably quickly. Probably faster than we will. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Great. Okay. Super. Okay. So we don't see any uh, any bubbling or any loss of the fluid. 
which would uh, drain into the lung space. It, we're fine, everything's great. So now we're just trying to dissect the pocket where we're gonna place this cartilage. This was the piece of cartilage. Carved it into a, the rim, and that'll hopefully fit in that, that gap. That's the, the plan there. I think it's gonna be all right. Our dressings are gonna sew it in place, and then during the healing process, hopefully it will heal in this position. Okay, so that's basically the shape of the ear. Hopefully it'll stay that way. I think it's pretty good. It's yeah. a nice correction, and hopefully, I mean, okay. it looks it looks uh, it looks good now. Um, we've got special uh, bolster sutures that keep the shape of the ear. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, the uh, shape that we have will be well maintained. Do you have any questions? No, on? not not right now. Not, not until right. I see her. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Take care. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. We'll see you. Bye. Okay, Hi. Hi. Hi, honey. Doctor said it looks good to your ear. Yeah. 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 Did you see it? No, no not yet. Oh. Can you breathe okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. So how's she been? She slept all night. She slept all night. <laughs> That's not bad after an operation, is it? Mommy, yeah, Mommy's right here, darling. Joan just wants to look at your cast. You have to keep the cast clean and dry, mm -hmm. and that can be a big, big job for a mom. Okay. So <clears throat> we like to teach you to turn her a lot. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult on the body to lay in one position. I see she's on her side, and apparently she's been moved around during the night. Part of her time she also needs to spend on her stomach. Okay. So I'm going to help you turn her over now. Yeah. Sort of a matter of up and right over. And the cast gives you a really good handle to do that. Okay? Let's go over on your side a little bit first, Kayla. Up you come, darling. All the way over. There's a good girl. There's a good girl. Now you get your arms comfortable up there. There you go. You want a little pillow? There you go. Okay. Kayla. It's okay. Mommy. So somebody will be around again tomorrow. But if you need us, you can just have us paged okay. with, with the ortho text. Okay. okay. Thanks. How are you? Good, are you? Good. How's Michelle doing? She's okay. Yeah. How's your ear? It's good. It doesn't hurt too much. So, yeah. Well, it's important you really take big, deep breaths. Okay. Um, after surgery on your chest, there's a tendency not to take big, deep breaths, and then you're, you can get what's called atelectasis. Your lungs don't expand enough, and that puts you at risk for other things. Okay. What you should do is just tap the dressing a little each day, mm -hmm. uh, just like this, about this hard. Okay. Okay, and if you feel it's getting tender, then let me know. Maybe there's an infection or something like that. So, um, do you want to go home? Uh, kind of. <laughs> kind of? Yeah, yeah, I think you'd probably be more comfortable at home. Great, so I'll see you Monday. All right. Boy, you did great. Thanks. Yeah, super. Okay, Thanks. we'll see ya. Bye. Thank you. Hi there. Hello. Hey, Kayla. I'm going to do her temperature again now and check her other vital signs. Uh-huh. Give her a Tylenol now, too. Let's see if our temperatures come down. Beep. Yep, beep. It's the same as first thing this morning, so at least it's not all done. done. At least it's not 38.8 like it was overnight, which is good. Okay, Kayla. Just your medicine. 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 Okay, just a little bit. Okay? Some? Good girl. Oh, good girl. Nope, a little bit more, look. 
I want it. Yep, you should check it. <laughs> okay. Little bit. <laughs> All gone. Great. So we'll just look at her blood work and we'll see if that might be the cause if she has an infection. Hi there. Hi. How are you? Good. Alrighty. Well, why don't you lie back? Sure. And maybe if you can come down here and bring your head all the way to the end. We'll take the dressing off and we'll have a look at things. Likely uh, it'll be a little bruised and discolored. So it won't look uh, exactly the way things would be, but hopefully we'll have a pretty good idea of the shape of things. That's good, eh? Touch your forehead again. Mm. Looks good. At this point, what we really just want is to make sure the ear is nice and pink and still mm -hmm. nice and healthy, and that's what we've got, so that's great. Okay, why don't you sit up slowly? All right. Right. Okay. I should see you in a week. Okay, and we'll take these bolsters off. I'm sure you're anxious to see it in the mirror, but uh, you'll have to get a three-sided mirror or something to look at. <laughs> okay? Good. Good stuff. So I'll see you in a week. Okay. Great. Thank you. Good stuff. Now, two things happen when the cast comes off. The very first thing that happens is that every joint that was inside the cast and not moving is now going to start moving and it's going to be stiff and sore. We're trying to be so careful with Kayla. Take it off. So careful. Oh. oh. You're just going to lift yourself right out of it. One, okay. two, three, and put it on the front. We're done. done. We're done. All done. <laughs> okay. The cast has just come off and it's, and it's a little bit irritable. Most little girls scream and yell when I do this after their cast comes off. Good. What we'll do is we'll see her in about two months. You okay. let her crawl, let her go around, and don't worry about the limp. Go away. Okay. And you call me if there are any problems in the meantime. I don't, I don't anticipate their are All right. Bye-bye. Good morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. See you. How are things? Good. Yeah, you doing well? Yeah. How about your ear? Uh, it's good. No pain. No pain? Perfect. So the first thing I need to do is just take the stitches out from the back. Okay. Rock it up and this might pull a little. Excellent. The overall shape is great. Keep it. Super. Yeah. Okay. It looks just great. Three weeks after surgery, Michelle is fully recovered. Doctors will monitor her, but are optimistic that Michelle's ear will continue to hold its shape. Healthy, viable, 
Well, it's right in the socket now. Okay. It looks wonderful. Can the doctor have it? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, thank you. Uh, but you'll notice within six months that she'll be walking, she'll be walking completely normally. Okay. Bye-bye. Shake, shake hands, goodbye. Hi. Okay. Ready? Thank you. Questions? No, you don't need to restrict your activities in any way now. Okay. That's good, because we can't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Seven months after her surgery, Kayla continues to grow stronger. Now that she no longer limps or suffers from a dislocated hip, Kayla is once again able to enjoy life without any restrictions on her activities. On the next episode of Life's Little Miracles, Kylene's chance to skate and Connor's bone marrow transplant.